Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. So, this is... <laughs> shit. So, this is what's... it's come... Fuck me! So, this is what it's come down to. Hey, what's going on everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber and welcome to Hoarders! <laughs> welcome to Clean My House on HGTV. Alright guys, so if you're familiar with my channel or maybe you're not familiar with my channel, um, every once in a while I'll shoot a video uh, called Organizing My Toy Room where the shit is out of control as you guys can see. Um, this right here is a culmination of opening figures, breaking out figures to do comparisons, not having time, the time to put them back, and the shit just getting out of control. So I believe I'm on like volume 11 right now of organizing my toy room. I started doing these videos, I think, uh, was it late last year or something like that? And uh, yeah, man, these are just some of the empty boxes that I've took an action figures out of and reviewed action figures, and here are some comparisons. And so what this video is going to be is just pretty much organizing my toy room. It's pretty much self-explanatory. I got to get all get rid of all these boxes, take all these action figures, Marvel Legends and Spawn and Mortal Kombat figs and NECA figs and Marvel Legend figs. I got to put them I got to put them all back on my shelf again because I break out figures as you guys know to do comparisons with, you know, other figures and it's just out of control. There's my Green Lantern chilling right there on my beanbag chair. And uh, some of the stuff that I bought, if you guys didn't see any of these reviews, check them out. Well, actually, I haven't done a review of this yet, but this was at, uh, where was I? Uh, Warp Zone, a free comic book day. I bought a bunch of, like, vintage Total Chaos figures. These have got to be put away because they are going to be reviewed in the near future. So there's just some of the Total Chaos figures. If you guys are going to see them, check them out. Oh, there's my glue. I was looking all over for this son of a bitch. There's my glue. That's what I mean. I buy stuff and I put them in my put them in my toy room when I don't have room. Some comic books right there that I got. Uh, Polka Dot Man box right here, man. Envelopes. NECA Frankenstein box. I got to do something with that shit. There's just so much going on, bro. Here are some uh, uh, what I do with these. Uh, figures that I'm not going to review yet. I usually I'm giving you a inside look. Uh, this I put them in my closet right here. So here are some of the figs um, right here in my closet uh, of figures I haven't yet reviewed yet. Now most of these are actually uh, some of them. Uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to do a review of. Um, some of them are I'm kind of saving for Halloween. So when I do like my 31 days of Halloween. I'm going to have a bunch of horror figures to review. So there's that. And I know a lot of you guys are wondering, hey, <laughs> you guys seen you guys seen these in like previous uh like like toy hauls that I've had. I'm saving them for uh Halloween. So a lot of these figures that you see in this box, most of them are going to be reviewed like around Halloween time. Uh this DC Wonder Woman, I have yet to review. I bought her and and uh, she looks pretty decent. Don't know if I'm ever going to review her or not, but uh, there's that. And then my box right here, I still have like a Marvel Select Ultron that I'm probably going to review. Some other like random stuff right here that I'm eventually going to review. Come over here. I have my Mezco Hellboy. If you guys didn't see that, he was in like one of my previous toy hauls. I'm probably going to save him from like around Halloween time to review him, but... Anyways, those are my plans for the future. As of right now, I have to worry about this mess. So let's go ahead and try to organize this shit. Alright guys, so I got all the boxes 
I had like two bags full of like empty boxes I had to toss. So here are some of the figs. Some of them are were reviews, some of them were comparisons. So you got a little bit of Marvel Legends, a little bit of Spawn, a little bit of <sighs> Mortal Kombat, a little bit of everything, man. DC. Um, so yeah, I'm going to, as you guys can see, here's my review station right there. So I'm going to put a lot of these figures up on the shelf, do a little bit of rearranging. My NECA movie shelf, man, is getting a little bit out of control. I need to do something about this shelf right here. I got to arrange it a little bit better. Um, over here, I installed these two shelves like last two videos ago. I didn't know what I was going to do with them, so I decided um, to put some Power Rangers there. I have a, quite a few Power Rangers here on this bottom shelf you guys can see. So I want to get those out of there because this is getting a little bit crowded down here. And I want to put the uh, Power Rangers up here um, just because I don't know what else I'm going to put up there. Just uh, I just got to make some room. So being that I have quite a few Power Ranger figures now, uh, I didn't really want that many Power Ranger figures. But I'm not collecting all of them. I'm just collecting a, a few of them. So I'm going to put some of the Power Ranger figures up there. So um, yeah, that's about it. I need to fix up my DC shelf a little bit and add some more Marvel Legends, add some more DC figs, so on and so forth. And uh, let's get to it. Wow! Okay, ladies and germs. <laughs> Man, this is a harder task than I thought it would be today. All right, so really all I have on the floor now is just a bunch of Marvel Legends. A couple of DC figs I still need to attack all over there. Uh, here is my spawn collection so far. There's my custom medieval spawn. If you guys want to see that, check it out. He goes very well with all my other custom... Well... With all my other spawn figures, not my custom figures, but all my other uh, spawn figures. I put them with the medieval lineup. Here I have my other custom spawn with just a bunch of like random spawns. Um, let's see, I have my other, other two spawn figures. <laughs> Here in my Mortal Kombat collection, I still need to... Uh, there they are right there. I still need to uh, fix up my Mortal Kombat collection. I still have a couple of... of uh, actually, I have Cabal just sitting out here. Uh, I fixed up my NECA movie section right here. Uh, actually, it's not a NECA movie section. It's actually just a movie section based on... Because a lot, most of these are NECA figures. But, you know, you have Diamond Select figures right here with the Crow and Ghostbusters. And then you have uh, Darkman right here. I forget what company he's with it's like on the tip of my tongue then we have like a mcfarland king kong um let's see all these are NECA related robocop terminator then we have hasbro planet of the apes another mcfarland figure sin city marv another NECA figures caesar then tron i can't remember who tron goes to but then i put all my like video game inspired i moved this guy from my horror shelf I, don't, I didn't know what to do with him, but he's based on a video game, so I put him with my video game collection down here. Um, let's see, what else do I have to do? Um, I still have to do my Power Rangers. My Diamond Select looks pretty decent. I put my uh, Falcon right here. If you guys didn't see a review of that, check it out. I didn't really know where to put him. I thought about putting him up here with the Avengers. I still might, but for now, he's just chilling next to Phoenix and Juggernaut. Um... I wanted to put him on display. Actually, I wanted to hang him from my ceiling, which I think I still might. I'm not really for sure. I do have a flight stand I can use for him. Actually, I think I might use a flight stand for him. Who's gotcha? Who's gotcha? All right, guys. Uh, I got everything I wanted to get done. I'm going to leave my Marvel Legends there because I'm actually going to be shooting an upcom upcoming video of my Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure collection. I always wanted to do that. I always wanted to put like a spotlight on the Build-A-Figures because I own a, a quite a few Build-A-Figures. And I think it would be awesome to do like a Build-A-Figure collection video just to show you guys some of my Build-A-Figure build collection. 
uh, figures. <laughs> Sorry, I'm out of breath, man. Uh, I've been trying to uh, get this done because I got to go to work uh, very soon. And uh, yeah, he he was a build a figure too. I put him together. He came in the uh, Iron Man wave way back. I don't know. It was about maybe like seven years ago or something like that. You know, he the, the proportions they don't look they don't look accurate. You know, to the to the body. You know, you can tell he's got some small like arms and stuff compared to his big, you know, robust body. Um, the head, you know, is quite small for the body as well. Uh, so yeah, this build a figure I think is uh, is defective. So, but I still I still keep him around. You know, because. I mean, he does serve a purpose, I guess. But anyways, let's go to the review station, and I'm going to put up a, a sticker on my backboard. Okay, we are back. So, one thing I want to put up on my backboard is this Beetlejuice that I got from uh, Terror Tunes, or Tune Terrors, uh, that I picked up a while ago. I've been meaning to put it on my backboard. So, let's break out the glue right here. This is a glue pen, which is great. I recommend it, guys, if you like gluing a lot of stuff. Because usually when you open, like, glue, um, and the glue comes out, it's kind of like, it, it, how should I say this? It, it, it dries up. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for, it dries up. Um, so we're going to use this glue pen right here for this. And we're going to put it on the backboard. Um, let's see, where can we put it? We will put it somewhere recognizable, but kind of out of the way. You know what, let's put it, oh, to maybe where you guys can see it, but I don't want to cover up a lot of stuff. You know what, let's come up here. Let's put it right here next to the Ghostbusters. Right here. And the now playing sign, so we'll glue that up here right next to <laughs> right right above joker right there speaking of beetlejuice uh and also i do want to use up some of these i don't know why but the joker if you look closely at the joker and beetlejuice like they have some similar characteristics uh i'm gonna definitely use up one of these uh toonie terror ones so i don't know how well you guys are seeing this let me bring my camera down as if you guys need to see this anyways but figure, hey, since I'm doing it, might as well show it to you, right? This is one great thing about this backboard. It's kind of like a postcard. <laughs> See all the places you you visited, but really, you haven't visited. You just bought a lot of shit, and then you put it somewhere in here. Let's go ahead and let's put it right here. Let's put it right in the middle, right by Captain America. Oh, you guys are not seeing it. Sorry. So we put it right there next to Captain America, right below Hulk. Right next to Angela, Daredevil right there. So yeah, added some new stickers, some new stuff to our backboard. And there you guys have it. Tell me what you guys thought of organ. Oh, wait, I forgot to show you some of the shit that I did. So I really didn't organize things properly. Uh, I just put... My Mortal Kombat shelf, it is what it is, man. It's just a little crowded. I've been saying this for years. I need to organize my shit a little bit better, but I just don't really have time. DC shelf, I put my Shrieker next here. My Green Lantern right here next to Red Hood. There's the Batman Beyond figure. There's my DC collection. If you guys care to see. I don't think I've ever done a review of my DC collection. Predators and Aliens, I did a review of those guys. Um... Over here, what did I do over here? Nothing. Over here, I just put my Power Rangers, the few Power Rangers that I do have. I actually do have a White Ranger still in my closet that I have yet to review. So those are the few Power Rangers that I actually do like. Um, my Spawn stuff, animated stuff. I just recently did a review of these guys, so if you want to check it out, check it out. And there you guys have it. All right, there was my little organizing my toy room. I'm gonna do a, a, a build a figure collection video soon, so that's one of the main reasons why I didn't put put the Marvel Legends up yet, because I still want to do a review of that. So that's probably gonna be one of my upcoming videos. 
Um, and there you guys have it. There's nothing more I can say. Oh yeah, my Marvel Select Collection right up here, man. <sighs> right up here, my Captain America needs to be properly posed. He's just kind of chilling over here. Uh, Iron Man and Spider-Man needs to be put up right here. Really love this Iron Man. Really dope Iron Man. If you guys collect Iron Man figures, I can't remember which one he is. I mean, he's he's the one that's from Civil War. So he's a dope, dope Iron Man. Put my Spider-Man right there. Then you have the Avengers. I still need to put some bases right here, over here. But anyways, I'm pretty satisfied. I'm I got a busy day ahead of me, so there's that. All right, guys, if you like this little review, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys later. Off the top ropes! Woo! Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is brought to you by OnlyPans on YouTube. Check it out.